Este es Latino Ruido. Latino Ruido Live Ay. desde el Madison Square Garden. No, yo, no, no, no. ¿Dónde que estamos? Yo, no, Madison Square Garden, oh. ¿no? Uh, yo soy Javier Luis. Alex Polanco. Hey, hey, that's what we get when we live, yeah, right? We're, we're live just like people show up in front of the happen, camera. So it's all good. <laughs> we, but you guys, we're here live. We're Crazy. here live. We're, we're at the VIC Victory and Crisis uh, Art Gallery, and we're going to have a good time. We have a lot of guests uh, and artists. A lot of artists. guests, a lot of artists. And I want to introduce the founder of yes. VIC. Yes. His name is yes. Unico. 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 Where is Unico? Ven para acá un momento. Unico, para hablar. acá. Vamos a platicar un poco. Echa para acá. Este es Alex. Este es Alex. Único, un placer. Único, háblame de ti primeramente. ¿Quién es Único? Bueno, Único Cabermúdez es puertorriqueño. Okay. Hace un pocos años que me vine acá a New York por motivos personales. Y acá, trayendo desde Puerto Rico mi costumbre, mi cultura, estamos desarrollando acá eh, la manera de de unirnos a la comunidad de Estados Unidos, de acá de New York, uh -huh. con los puertorriqueños y con la diversidad uh -huh. cultural que tiene Nueva York. Sí. Yo vine a aprender de ellos, pero también que ellos aprendan del puertorriqueño que soy. Exacto. Y con, qué importante para mí es mi cultura y que la gente eh, conozca de Puerto Rico. Uh -huh. el, el micrófono dice, ah, perdóname. dice producción. Que... <risa> <risa> perfecto, perfecto. Y... ¿Cómo comenzó Vic? ¿Qué, primeramente, Vic, ¿qué quiere decir ¿Qué Vic? Significa Vic? ¿Qué sí. significa Vic? Vic significa Victory in Crisis, okay. Victoria en una crisis. Ok, ¿y por qué eso? Eh, acá en, en New York me he dado mucho que los artistas, muchos de ellos han pasado por muchas situaciones difíciles uh -huh. y de alguna manera el arte los ha llevado a sobrepasar estas crisis y encontrar una victoria. Okay. En mi caso, eh, me ha ayudado a adaptarme a New York, uh -huh. por medio del arte. Y en Vic, pues tengo diferentes eh, um, um, situaciones que te puedo presentar. Okay. Como en el caso de que cuando vemos el tour, sí. te voy a dar más detalles, tengo a la que representa a Vic, que representa a la comunidad de los transexuales, que está un movimiento en New York okay. y en el mundo entero como tal, no sé si se si lo han escuchado antes. Y en referencia de eso, tengo a un sobrino que ahora es mi sobrina okay. Okay. y okay. está pasando entre la transacción de ser él a ella, okay. emocional, hormonal, y todo esto nos ha afectado como familia, como okay. núcleo. Sí. Y por ahí va Vic. Ok, por ahí va Vic. <risa> y ahorita tú lo, nos van a dar un tour a nosotros. Sí, y nos sí. va a explicar un poco de, de lo que tú hiciste, de tu trabajo, su arte. Y um, ¿dónde encontraste la inspiración para comenzar todo lo que tú estás haciendo hoy en día? Muy buena pregunta, muy buena pregunta. La inspiración fue hablando con diferentes artistas. Ok comunicándome y siempre alguien tiene una historia entonces yo dije pues vamos a practicar a Vic okay. y tú vas a decirle a tu historia a Vic. a Vic pero quiero que sea una historia de que una situación difícil mm. y cómo saliste victorioso ok so, para que la energía vaya cambiando ¿eh? okay. porque creo que todo en la vida te enseña eh, te tiene que enseñar algo okay. y esa es la victoria cuando tú aprendes lo que tienes que aprender exacto y de ahí salió Vic. perfecto único bueno muchas gracias y ahorita vamos a regresar contigo para que nos dé un tour y aquí hay otro artista también que te están presentando su, su trabajo exacto tenemos hasta siete artistas siete artistas entre ellos te puedo nombrar a Estel o Estrella Estrella como siete nombres de okay. este. oh, she's coming up next yes, okay, well, she would tell you about okay. eh, tenemos a Ricardo. Ricardo tenemos a Dante un niño de 10 años eh, tenemos a Michelle okay. eh, te digo diversidad de artistas diversidad, y los vas a ir conociendo uno a uno perfecto. y que yo tenga una versión de ellos de que es Vic para ellos ¿no? okay. right. pues te voy a dar la oportunidad muchas gracias, gracias muchas por gracias. la oportunidad de hoy gracias. Alex 
Gracias porque te mantuviste bien callado. Y te veo unos Alex momentos. No, habla mucho. no, no, tú le diste toda la atención a Javier. Tú ni miraste para acá. Ahora que viene a mirar para acá y viene a decir que, 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 que yo estaba calladito. Es cumpleaños de él. Oh. Happy birthday. Gracias. I got a present for you. Celos. No, no. Gracias, corazón. Es que eh, Javier, eh, como que me, ¿verdad? me habló más directo. Y tú te quedaste como escuchando. Pero está bien. Hizo okay. que. Bueno, nada. De nuevo, gracias. Javier, Único. Gracias, 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 gracias. Guys, that was a great um, interview eh, with Unico. Así es, they, they, they forget about you, Alex, right? They forget about me. Yeah. Que yo estoy calladito. Calladito. The sole purpose of it because it's fun to do right and so where's the victory in this in this art art pieces that are you're showing where do you the feel victory, like um i heard that it wasn't just victory it was like a crisis that's happening yeah that we need to fix like i could also do that so um so which piece are you asking about no of any piece any piece you want to you want to elaborate on say um, behind you it's um a piece about deception like it's this fish that basically a man eating a fish mm -hmm. and um, there's a bigger fish under him with its jaws wide open and it has this tentacle with a shark's fin and it's poking out of the water and the piece is called Behind You um, I think it has an exclamation point I probably forgot it wow but, I like yeah. it already so it's like behind you it's behind you but it's actually under him And the sole purpose of the piece is, like, it, it doesn't just have to be, like, tricking somebody. It could be certain people try to deceive you, like, right. to make them think that you can trust them. And they're just leeching off of you and using you, which is why you shouldn't trust everybody. And it's, like, right. just things that I have learned my lesson on, and I don't want people to have to go through that. Even if they did, I don't want them to have to go through that again. Awesome, awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, well, he is 10 thank years old. You, Dante. Thank you for joining us. Thank um, you, Dante. So in a little while, I want us to check out your piece. Show us um, one by one and talk to us about it, okay? All right. All right. Well, thanks, thank buddy. This All is right. a Latino Rudo with Dante. Give it up for Dante. Hello. Thank and you, we're going to go on a shirt break. We'll be right we'll back. We'll be right back. She's so fake. She's such a slut. You can see the layers on Look her face. Look at her face. chicken legs. <laughs> oh my god. How short is that skirt? <laughs> I can't believe she'd even put that on. <laughs> is that her dress? It's not even on her hardly. It's not even covering her up. It's actually disgusting. <laughs> oh my god. How can she do her hair like that? I don't even know how this girl has friends. I saw her talking to Holden the other day. Who does she think she is? I bet she slept with the whole football team. She's not even pretty. She's gained so much weight. She looks like a cow. <laughs> Such a good idea. Watch this. <laughs> You're good. Oh my god, that's so funny. You gotta post that. <laughs> I got an idea. Pass this. Michelle, Michelle, she is part of the Vic uh, Gallery, and she's displaying her work here today. Um, Michelle, welcome. Hi, thank you. Um, talk to us, who is Michelle, and talk to us a little bit about your work. Um, I am a stained glass artist, hand-painted, okay. and for this series, I did um, a series on horror movies. Oh, yeah. ooh, I'm a horror movie fan. Yes, I'm a very big horror movie fan. Nice, <laughs> nice. So how long have you been working on your pieces here? Um, well, I've been working on stained glass for almost 10 years now. 10 years, but okay. But for this series, I've That's as old as Dante. Oh, yeah. yeah it's, I'm, <laughs> yes, Dante's age is the amount of time I've been doing stained glass. 
um, for this series I've been working on the last year or so. Nice, nice. <laughs> um, what inspired you to do stained glass? I actually learned about it in high school during a very small lesson from one of my teachers, and I picked up, you know, the medium on my own. Okay. Just started there. Okay. Yeah. And, um, okay, that's part one. What inspired you to do horror <laughs> with your artwork um, and collaborate the both? Well, me and my mom actually used to watch horror movies nearly every day. Okay. <laughs> so that's how it started. Just um, now it's pretty much the only genre we'll watch. So right. that's how it awesome. started. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> Um, so your work is displayed here. What we would like is for you, maybe a little later on, you can give us a tour? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so is this something that you do full-time? Uh, um, I'm still a student, but right. I'd like to pursue it for full-time. Um, full-time. I started the business. It's right. hitting almost a two-year mark in okay. November. So. Now, do you sell your work? Yes. You yes, do. I do. So... If people were interested in contacting you for your work, how can they reach you? Do you have social media? Do you have a phone number? Do you have a studio that they can um, um, contact? Right now, I have an Instagram that's just through the Looking Glass 5066. Okay. And um, also a Facebook page through the Looking Glass by Michelle Pappas. Okay. And my phone number, 516-312-1863. Okay. Michelle, what is your favorite horror movie? It's like, if I was held at gunpoint, I'd probably have to say Scream. <laughs> scream? Yeah, okay. it's my gut. Okay, <laughs> so. Scream? Yeah. Great. <laughs> I, 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 my God, I have so many. It's the season. It's the season. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> my favorite are anything zombie. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I love zombie movies. Um, I really like Train to Busan. I would suggest that. For Which one? Train to Busan. It's Tra a zombie movie. Oh, my God. That it's was really so good. Yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, you got to check it out. You got to check that out. It's it's like I haven't no, seen you have to check it out. It's really good. good. <laughs> it's really good. Michelle, thank you so much for joining us. Um, in a little while, we would like for you to give us a tour of your work, and we'll continue from there. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. That was Michelle, ladies and gentlemen. She's yes, going to give yes. us a tour. Stained glass combined with horror. This is amazing. I'm loving this. I'm loving it. Esto una cosa bien. Esto una cosa bien heavy. Esto está bien. We got to do this more often. Uh, I got to come in here real like, quick. Oh, oh, I got to show my oh, face real quick. Oh, oh, oh. Wait a minute. This is the first time that Mr. Controversy saying. himself. This, this, is, a, this, is, this, this is, is the, the first time. time. Not the ponytail. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe whip it like that. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually the first time that El Jefe shows his face on camera, this right? This is behind the scenes. Behind the scenes stuff. Behind, behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Yo, <laughs> I'm going to interview you guys real quick. This is the first time you guys are actually in front of live audience. How does that feel? Yes. I'm it used feels, to being in front of a live audience. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah this, you should be too. Don't yeah, let me do stuff in the, in, the, in the room all day. You know what I'm saying? All yeah, the time yeah, yeah. we're in the but room. But you know what? This is fun. It's this very is fun. gratifying. Yeah. I love meeting different people. I love okay. the diversity. I love the, the, the art. I, like the I blade, love the, the guy, guy with the blades in front of us and stuff like that. I love know? that one. The, and the, the people together. All, all the people together. Like this is... Yeah. Everybody is like... And, and it's diverse, because, diverse. That's what I was just going to say. It's like so many different people out here. You yeah. Know? I love the art world. And then half of the people through my years of uh, being You know here, everybody I here. Know a lot of you know people. everybody I'm here. Like, like, oh, I interview you. Of the people. Hey, he knows you're everybody. on my show. Hey, the hey. president <laughs> of the LDM network. Nah, but it's good. You know, we're, like, we're on the radio station, you know, and then now we're... Filming uh, everything here. Yeah, yes. guys are blowing up. Yes. Latino Ruido. Latino Ruido. We up next, baby. <laughs> no, uh, well, that's enough behind the scenes. We got to go. <laughs> because we got to get y'all guys to get more uh, interviews here. Actually, and what then, we're going to do is we're going to go to each artist and they're going to show us their work. Uh, well, I think y'all got a couple more interviews we before y'all do, yeah, do anything else. <laughs> so, sure, right, let us right. know who. Yeah. Because I don't... And I quick with the news, oh, oh they, know news they took out more bottles. News. They took out more bottles, so we go. Oh, it's his birthday. Yeah, right. Happy yeah. birthday to ya. Wait, wait. Happy but birthday. It's <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. No, but that's Pero apple juice. It's apple, that's apple, apple juice. juice. We don't that's drink. drink. No. We don't drink no. on this show. That's no. apple juice. That's, that's apple juice. <laughs> juice. <laughs> no, but it feels good to be out the studio. You know no, what I'm saying? Sometimes this is nice. Now y'all get into my world. Y'all get into my outside world. This is fun. This is fun. Very nice. Very nice. That's enough of behind the scenes. El jefe, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> As mighty armies clash in a struggle for total domination, the scales can be tipped by one man. 
who has the courage to confront his fate and make a choice that will decide the fate of the world. put a lot of smoke in today. Wow. But anyway, we expecting a real superhero? I don't think so. The real life superheroes are the ones that are helping out in their community today. And the LVM show will be there to bring you the events and stories to light. Do you know a real superhero? Let us know. But for now, follow us on Instagram and Twitter and like us on Facebook. Also visit our websites for photos, videos, and updates. But until the meantime, hey, I gotta be out of here. With so many wonderful artists. Right, yeah. right. Well, talk to us. Who is. Alin Santiago? See. Well, Alin Santiago. Como tú quieras, en español, en español, vamos un ching español, que te le hagan los ruidos. Sí, sí, a ti los ruidos. Yo soy, yo tengo dominicana y puertorriqueña en este Ah, pero tú tienes la mezcla, la mezcla de Hall. Tengo Mongo y tengo Mangú. Tiene la mezcla de Taíno, España y Aprilia. Muy orgullosa, claro que sí. Bueno, mira, Arlene Santiago es una persona totalmente agradecida por la vida, por las bendiciones que Dios me ha dado. Soy sobrevivida de cáncer cinco veces. Wow, wow, cinco veces. Cinco veces. Y he perdido mucho de lo que me ha hecho mujer, mis senos, muchas partes. Pero en el proceso he encontrado que he ganado mucho. Eh, y una de las cosas más importantes es que he tenido un sistema de soporte increíble con mi familia, mi esposo, mis hijos. Eh, mis, ami mis amistades mm. eh, pues vivo por vivo por la gracia de Dios y parte de mí es tengo un amor fuerte grande por la humanidad mm -hmm. y, y una de las cosas importantes para mí eh, es poder ayudar y compartir a las otras personas que están necesitadas y cuando me refiero en ese sentido me refiero a las personas que están homeless en nuestra comunidad, que le hacen mucha falta muchas cosas, uh -huh. eh, hasta en Puerto Rico, en diferentes sitios. Eh, yo vendo mi arte, mi arte eh, se recauda fondos para ayudar a las personas. Tengo como 20 años con mis hijos que hacemos eh, paquetes higiénicos de para personas como jabón, perfume, eh, esas cosas bonitas que se necesita para sentirte normal, para sentirte bien, porque somos todos iguales. There's no diferencia. Sí, We're sí, all sí. the same. We're all the same. You know, and I think that la importancia de todo es que todos tenemos una historia. Sí. Por eso me encantó este proyecto, porque es Victoria in Crisis. And I think we all have gone into a crisis in our life. Yes. And so, for me, uh, mi victoria en la crisis eh, de vivir con chronic pain y, y de saltarme en las cosas ha sido por el arte, por el arte. Eh, la fotografía um, especialmente eh, cuando me habían diagnosticado me habían dado cuatro años para vivir yo he pasado esos cuatro años mm. y estaba bien ahogada en la necesidad de asegurarme de que Mario y Sara tuvieran recuerdos de mí de su madre y empecé a hacer fotografía y ahí fue que me enamoré de la fotografía y empecé a hacer fot 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 photography manipulation art mm -hmm. so that's what I am, I'm a photographer manipula manipulation artist and, um, and I started creating nice. and through the lens I found that there's so much beauty in life and so last year I had a solo exhibition called Transformation and was basically the life of plants resembling us human beings. You know, it's like a leaf, a leaf that you find in the street. People walk all over it. They don't see the beauty. A lot of us go through that. I People like, your, walk I all like over, your way of thinking. You know, yeah. they yeah. walk all over us, right. and then they don't see us in, in that perspective of beauty. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And so I like to bring out the beauty in plants, 
beauty of everything because in the midst of this chaotic life that we're living, right. we need some faith and we need some hope. Need it's so hope. easy to get lost with depressions, suicidal, you know, we need to be able to be there right. and to let people know that there's still beauty. And I, I was inspired when I was doing chemotherapy, seeing other people's artwork. Right. It really, really saved me because it was like, wow, I, couldn't even, I didn't even think about the fact that I was there for seven hours doing chemotherapy or that they removed my breath right. because I found the meaning of life for me. Right. And so when I create the hope that I want to bring to people is that not to forget that we're still beautiful right and someone sees you yeah and um and that's who i am right right so you know that's amazing that's amazing thank you out of all of your work do you have a preference is there one that stands out for you the ones that we have here are you meaning like In overall general, overall well um i worked in this new piece they're all my favorite because they all have meanings right but i have one piece um that is exhibiting and it is one of my favorite pieces because you know it shows that even when you feel that you're dying there's still in the process there's still beauty right it doesn't mean that we're going to die but even if it happens there still should be beauty in it and so you know i'm a survivor and it just keeps me humble just seeing that piece that i'm here right and there's so many other people like me, not just fighting and dealing with cancer, but dealing with many other things, right. which we have to be respectful because every crisis deserves to be respected. To and be you have to acknowledge yeah. and be there for those. Right. And so that piece just reminds me of how grateful I am in the process of dealing with cancer five times and, and still you know, living with chronic pain and even with so many other things, and it's just my blessings, you know. Yeah. Look at like right now, I'm surrounded by you guys, right. you, and all these people, yeah. and I, and I just feel extremely blessed. This you know? is amazing. Yeah. We would be honored in a little while if you would show us your. Pieces. I love. I love to. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Now, where yes. can people find you if they want to find your work and you? Well, um, I am in Instagram, and I I have two pages in Instagram, so my professional page is there. I stay for Agape six one three. And my personal is Pink Dragonfly 613. So I kind of show my life regular basis, how life truly is, and my business aspect as well. Okay. I have a, um, I'm working on a website, so that is in progress. And, um, you know, and I could just, you know, they, they could see, they could see it there. This is amazing. Yeah, this thank amazing. you. I'm looking forward to looking at your work. My God, thank you so much. Thank I feel you for so spending honored. some time with us. It is truly a pleasure. We'll thank you. We'll be back with you shortly. Thank you so for honor. Cool. Thank you for the honor and oh, thank you for, thank you for blessing me blessing so much. Us. You know, thank you. Gracias. Gracias, mi amor. Un placer. Gracias. Te lo agradezco mucho de corazón. Gracias, precioso. Qué sonrisa más linda tienen. Los dos. Gracias, mi amor. Gracias. This is El Latino Rido, and we'll be back shortly with... Are we going on commercial break, Charles Leloma? We will be back shortly. Do we have... We have a singer coming up. We have a singer. To sing, or we'll turn to you? No, he's going to sing, actually. Sing. Yeah. All right, so are we done with the artist? What's that? Are we done with interviewing the artist? Uh, I guess so. So okay. he should sing now. No, we, we, we talk, we, we're gonna, we talk. <laughs> Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. No, 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 no. You take a break. So all listen, right. we're gonna take a break, and then the singer's gonna come on sing, and then we're gonna see the work that each and artist. And then Javier's gonna sing a song. About. I am not I'm gonna, gonna sing, sing a song. song. Javier, Javier, sing, oh. sing a song. Sing a song. Oh. Oh. We'll be back. Oh, look who's here! Ria is Rhea. in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Ria is here. here. Latino Rido, I am Javier Luis. Alex Polanco, y estamos and aquí con Star Angel, Angel baby. Yeah. Hola. Angel, talk to us about your piece here. Um, 
I make eccentric hats, one of a kind. I will never make the same hat again. Right. And each hat has a meaning. Um, for instance, this is my survivor hat. Uh, I'm a breast cancer survivor. If you look at the hat here, it says survivor. And can you hold this? Sure. called My Colors of Cancer. Colors of Cancer. Show that to the camera right there. Very nice. And this hat was commissioned to me by one of my clients. So this is the mold of a hat. Okay. And I just wanted to do something artistic with it. And I painted the head and it started to melt. And I'm like, oh my God, this is the cancer, but I survived. Wow. That's, that's amazing how that worked out. Yes. Because really, that's how cancer looks. Right. right. It just eats you up. Right. But I survived. Right. And that's this is my palette. Right. If you look at it, it's a face. If you go back here, you see the eye? Yes. That's a face. This is the palette that you use to paint? Yes. Mm -hmm. And this... Um, I, I created a hat calendar um, called Artisan for a Cause. That's where that um, was born. Okay. And this is my February hat. And this is a fitted hat that I made out of metal because I work with different mediums. So this is uh, metal mesh and sheet metal. And this I made for a friend of mine who did the bike tour. And this was to advocate for prostate cancer. Okay. So when I make a hat, it's always for a cause. Um, this is the one that I like. I mean, I love them all. But this is the one that stands out to me. Cafetero. Okay. I get these crazy ideas and inspirations. And when I see something, I think in the back of my mind, I'm going to make that a hat one day. So I always thought, I'm going to make a hat out of coffee bags. And I thought, okay, what am I going to do? Or what's the cause? So I'm really passionate about Puerto Rico, about my culture. And I'm really saddened by what our people go through, especially with the devastation of Maria. So I am going to do another hat event called Café con Leche. And I'm going to choose 12 Puerto Rican um, coffee brands and make a different hat for each month. And the event is going to be called Café con Leche. And um, part of the proceeds I want to give back to people in Puerto Rico that go through anything with the devastation of what they go through. Whether it's, you know, a hurricane or whether it's the politics that's happening right now. Um, and the event, if you come with your own coffee cup and saucer, the fee is $20, but it will be waived to $10. Um, and I love coffee, so that's my café con, con leche, bustelo hat. So that's the esa. January hat, okay. because I did the calendar and each month depicts the season. So everyone likes to go skiing in January, so that's my um, snow bunny hat. Yes. Thank you so much for showing us your work. Again, tell the audience how they can get in touch with you if they want to buy one of your pieces. Um, I have a business card and a website called... Um, artisanforcause.com and I'm Star Angel on Facebook so you could reach me there um, I'll give you a card and you could that. maybe show it on the, on the show um, but I have more work if you want to see my metal hats yeah let's go over here for a minute oh yeah. here talk to us about this one right here okay this is the hat that I made depicting the, the group Artisan for a Cause and this is a metal wind chime hat and this was the March hat because in March it's kind of cold and kind of icy and gray so I like to work with metal I like to work with different mediums this is another wind chime hat okay this one yeah <laughs> nice so, okay 
and they very, very nice. I want to talk about this here. Okay. Um, I was in Puerto Rico in June, and I went to Vieques. Okay. And these two heads were in the garbage. Right. They were in the garbage. Some one threw them away. So I'm like, oh my god, I can't let that go by. Okay. So I took them, brought them to New York. I painted them. Um, and I'm like, what am I going to do with this piece? So I'm like, okay, heads in the clouds. These are pictures I took in Puerto Rico. From a plane? These are pictures that I took, yes. That's amazing. Yes. So, and then I found this table um, in Chinatown. So I also do uh, recyclable art. Um, this is called Pelo. This is called Pelo. And this um, is inspired by the fact that everyone has different types of hair, texture, um, but we're all one. And Welcome back to El Latino Ruido. Welcome we, back. Yes, yes. Estamos we, aquí con Ricardo. 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 As promised, um, talk to us about your work here. Um, this piece in particular. Like well, it, it, it attracts me. What inspired you to What inspired you to create this, and what does it mean? Um, I literally was just having this conversation about 10 minutes ago about this painting and I was looking through uh, tarot cards and there is a card for the two of swords and right. literally if you see that card it's literally two swords like this right so in my version I just wanted a uh, an individual to hold the swords up so um, is that you no, it's not. Oh, okay. No. I, I, thought I wish like I had so. hair. I don't have hair anymore. <laughs> not like you. <laughs> Yo, is it right. a younger you? Yeah. Uh, no. Is he, no. He's caramel. I'm more chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, I, I like juxtaposing images. So when I I thought of, of this, this was my initial idea with right. like two swords like this. So... When I ended up becoming the person, I I saw this pose, and I was like, oh, he's perfect for this, so I'm going right. to use him for the painting. And this is how this painting came about. Very nice. nice. Yeah. What does truth mean? Now, this painting really has a, a very deep meaning. The time I made this painting, it was my first painting within the, the new series that I was making. Um, I work with acrylic and mixed media collage, and this painting was the first painting I made in with both all of those elements together. Right. And I had been working in oil for about five, six years before this painting was made. Okay. So when I did this visual, like, like in terms of technically, that it was just like where I wanted to be at that moment. Right. And. It just was an exciting painting to make, and the first word that came to mind was "this is the truth." So I ended up just putting the word in, and right. it, it fit for me. Um, right. uh, it, it worked well with the uh, the portrait, right. and uh, that that's there. And I that's how the painting came about. Right. Awesome. Awesome. I mean, I know there's nothing simple about creating painting, but as simple as for me it's simple uh, yeah as simple as the look uh -huh. but with the word it's very complex you okay. know what I'm saying it's, it's, but it's amazing it's like it says a lot it yeah, says a lot for me this painting That's, no actually oh my god yeah, I, I, never, I, I honestly <laughs> don't like using myself <laughs> as oh, okay, a okay, okay. Uh, subject matter but it's true that with artists all of their works are self portraits in some way so to a certain degree, that's true. Yeah, because it that says is, truth, so I thought that would be you, because it was like, your truth. It's not so, me. Okay. Actually, uh, it was it was uh, someone named Lee. He posed for me, and um, there's like a close-up of one of the photographs I took of him. Um, yeah. Yeah, I've used him before for other paintings, but the the, the gaze that he has in this painting, which was, was in yeah, this yeah, image, yeah. was like, oh my God, this yeah. is beautiful. I have to use this to some capacity. So that's how this painting ended up happening so well thank you ricardo thank, thank you for showing us your painting and your work how do how can people get in touch with you if they want to purchase your work 
Um, you can reach me at R Francis R F R A R F R A N C I S nine eight seven six at gmail dot com. Thank. Yes. Appreciate it. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you so much. This is the Latino Rido, and we'll be right back. Tuve la culpa, pues. 